My child has been in daycare now for, my firstborn has been in a private subsidized daycare now for um, four years, basically. And, the, and honestly, this is something that I'm just finding out about now, the fact that um, had I chosen a CPE instead of a private subsidized daycare, the government would have um, been forking out a greater amount of subsidy on my behalf or on my child's behalf. It, it, uh, to me, it, it seems as if the government is basically according greater um, value to a child simply because the parent chooses to send that child to a CPE than to a private subsidized daycare. And that is, that is enraging. That's very frustrating. And, and it's very hard to believe because that, in my opinion, is not universal daycare. Not at all. Euh, le gouvernement subventionne actuellement, c'est évident qu'il subventionne les familles parce qu'à 10 heures par jour, à 7 dollars par jour, ça ne se peut pas qu'ils font, qu subventionnent les garderies avec ce montant-là. Donc, ils subventionnent les familles et les enfants qui vont à la garderie. Je trouve ça très injuste parce qu'en tant que euh, euh, résident ici du Québec qui paye des taxes, je m'attends à ce que les subventions pour les enfants euh, dans les garderies soient égales. The idea of subsidized daycare is an excellent one. I think it encourages um, people who want to work, both, um, both parents. Um, it gives them an opportunity to do so, contribute to society, uh, actually contribute to the government, because now you have two taxpayers. It angers me as a parent, and I think as a taxpayer it angers me even more, because my the, we work hard for our, our living, and the dollars we earn aren't being distributed fairly. I'm not sure what our government is trying to achieve. I think they've lost a um, complete sense of reality and what the issue is handed here. And this is the care of very young children, as young as um, six months and up to the age of um, four or five is when our, our children um, spend the majority of their days I think they need to take a step back. I think they've forgotten what, what this program is all about. And if the government itself does not know why they're funding one child less than the other, then that's where the, the investigation should start. CPEs receive $7.45 a day more than my child in a private subsidized daycare. In addition to that, they have 50% off their GST and their PST. They're exempt from paying school taxes, municipal taxes, uh, income tax, not to mention they get special subsidies for furniture, indoor equipment, outdoor equipment, playground equipment. I mean, these are basic child care needs that every child care center should be receiving equally. There should be no discrimination. All we're asking for is what's right, rightfully due to us. Comme parent et comme contribuable, euh, c'est vrai que je suis dans les deux positions et je me sens tout à fait outré de la part du, de ce que fait le gouvernement à ne pas donner la même subvention, qui est une subvention universelle aussi bien au CPE qu'aux garderies subventionnées privées. Je veux juste ajouter que je me sens vraiment, c'est vrai, discriminée, mais je me sens surtout sans pouvoir face au gouvernement qui, de toute façon, change les lois de la façon qu'ils le veulent pour que ça les arrange. On n'a aucun pouvoir, on n'a aucune, aucune voix euh, envers le gouvernement. On est juste là pour subir. I always believe government's regulations should be remains minimum. And to me, it's kind of uh, strange to see here that in North America, it's getting more and more, government is getting in, in, in effectively bigger and bigger. It's the government that takes too many decisions at this level. It doesn't have to be involved until now. As we said, we will have a second son very bientôt. So we want him to benefit from a garderie such as our first son. And thinking back and having studied the history of all this and, and, and having the, the, the universal child care program that came in in 1997, and here we are 15 years later, whether it's the governments that are elected, whether it's the governments that are in the opposition, they've all missed the boat on this issue. It's time to care about the children, stop the discrimination, treat everybody equally, and get the program moving in the right direction for the first time in its history.